All right, y'all. Thank you all so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. As you can tell by the thumbnail, we have some German chocolate to try. I am super pumped for it. Um, I am trying this on my phone. So if I look over to, to the left or the right, I don't know which way it's going to be when I switch it around. I apologize. I got to try to remember to look at this camera, but I'm trying something new. When I do it on my regular camera, it's just a little blurry, just a little, you know, it doesn't look as good. So I wanted to, I wanted to try to do a little higher quality videos if possible. So I'm super excited to get into this. I have 10 different chocolate balls here, chocolate bars here. They are the Milka brand. I couldn't find anything else. Um, there's a, a shop about two hours north of me that I found these at, and that's all they had. So I'm super excited to get into it. I'm going to go ahead and name them off here real quick what I have. Um, so obviously, like I said, it's all Milka. This one is the Alpine Milk, which I'm assuming is just the regular old plain Jane like milk chocolate bar. Um, I could be wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. The next one we have is the same thing, but it's bubbly, um, which I remember Hershey did a bubbly one, or they, what they call it, Hershey Air or something like that. I wasn't massive on it when it came to Hershey, but this might be something completely different, so I don't know. Next, we have a word I can't pronounce, but it says cow spots. <laughs> uh, see if I can get that in there for you. I got to remember it's over here. I'm assuming it's just milk chocolate with white chocolate mixed into it. It's kind of the, the feeling I got from it. Um, but when I Googled it, that's, it was very vague. Another one here, um, is another word that I, I'm not able to pronounce, but it looks like it's just regular Alpine milk chocolate with a, like a creamier inside. So I'm super excited about that one. Uh, next one is hazelnut. Um, like I said, I apologize. I'm not able to pronounce the actual German word, but, um, I'm learning slowly but surely. Uh, and then the next one is strawberry which is going to be another exciting one for me because I love strawberry. I don't like, really enough, I don't like strawberries, just strawberry flavored things. Um, this one says extra cocoa. Now, I'm not 100% sure what that means. I don't know if it means that it's just like dark chocolate or if, it, if it's just going to be more of a chocolate punch on top of the regular milk chocolate. I'm not sure exactly. Um, next one we have here is raspberry cream. I'm super excited for this. Raspberries are one of my favorite actual fruits. So I'm super excited about that one. The one I'm most excited for though, is the Chips Ahoy. Now the Chips Ahoy, I don't know why. I, I, I just, Chips Ahoy are one of my, my weaknesses. I love regular Chips Ahoy cookies. So I'm super excited for that one. And then when I was up here, the, uh, the lovely lady that was the register, I work in the cash register. She was super nice. She told me, get this right here. It's a TUC. I'm not, not sure. It looks like it's just some sort of cracker on the chocolate. She says it's absolutely delicious and it's her favorite one she's tried so far. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open all of these, get them all opened up individually, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to try them all. So I will be back here just momentarily. All right, it's finally time. I got them all opened up. Um, it took me a minute here because for some reason I didn't figure out how to open up these things until like the second to last one that there's just an easy rip it right through. I'm sitting here trying to dig into it without snapping them. Anywho, I'm just going to go ahead and try the regular Alpine chocolate right off the bat here. Show you the back. That way you know I didn't already try it. So I'm excited for this, you know? I mean, I'm not a massive chocolate fan. I know it, it sounds weird to listen to me say that, especially when if I look down, you can see my double chin try to high five my top lip every time, but I'm not a massive chocolate fan. I prefer chips. That's my, that's my weakness when it comes to, to uh, snack food. But I went ahead and broke off a piece here. We'll see just how much, you know, how well this compares to Hershey's. It's good. It's really good. Wow. Wow. I actually, I'm not just saying this, I'm truly not, but <clears throat> I might like that better than regular Hershey's. It's not as sweet. That's the thing for me. It's chocolate is just like overly sweet. You know what I mean? And, and um, you know, us being here in the US, we like to really sweeten up our stuff a lot. And that one was really good. So yeah, that that's that's definitely, that's a, that's a good chocolate bar right there. Now this one is the same thing but it's bubbly and this one makes me a little nervous because I just, I didn't like, here you can see I didn't open it or try it yet. I didn't like the air version of the Hershey's, so I'm nervous to see if I'm gonna like this one or not. 
But the only way to figure out if we're gonna like it is just throw a piece in our mouth and try it. So, well, it, it broke off in a big piece. I'm not putting this whole thing in my mouth. It's not bad. The texture of it's not great. I don't, I don't like it as much as I do the regular one, but it's not bad. I would, um, hmm. I would give this probably an eight out of 10 and I would give this probably a five. Like it's okay, but it's not my, uh, not my favorite. It's not something I would easily buy. I'd much rather just buy the regular one. I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse the palate a little bit here already. It's just two chocolate bars, but man, I just don't handle my sweet stuff very well, so. All right, let's keep going. Got a lot more to get through here. This one is the cow spots. So I'm assuming it's just white chocolate and um, regular old plain Jane Alpine chocolate one mixed here. So I'm gonna break off a little piece here. Now, when it comes to chocolate, white chocolate is my favorite, especially, um, white chocolate Reese cups. Oh, when they do the, uh, like the special edition ones and they have little Easter eggs in the white chocolate. Oh my goodness. That is when I will tear up some chocolate. So let's go ahead and try this piece. I'm just going to go through the whole thing in my mouth here. It's not bad, but I don't know. It's like they're conflicting and it almost has no taste. It's like I get a little bit of white and I get a little bit of regular chocolate and all of a sudden I get nothing. It's better than the bubbly. I would give it a seven probably. It's better than the bubbly. Um, but it's just, it's a weird mixture where there's not, to me, there's not enough white in it for it to be what I would call delicious. <laughs> but it's not bad. It grows on you. And it, it tastes very similar just to the regular one when I really like the regular one. So I would give it a, a solid seven. I, the regular one's better because it's not conflicting to almost outdo each other. Now we're going to try the one I cannot pronounce. Well, one of the ones I cannot pronounce, uh, but it is the, the creamy, it looks like creamy version of it on the inside. As you can tell, I haven't tried it yet. So, man, already trying this right here already is making me just kind of like in the inside <laughs> it's starting to get to me already but um all right nope nope that's not for me i can already tell you it's not got a bad taste obviously but i'm i'm weird about my chocolate i don't like it to be melty that's the proper word for it i don't know but um that kind of gives me like that it's been in the microwave or in the hot car for a few minutes and it's kind of starting to get that melty flavor to it so that's kind of what i expected that's kind of what made me a little nervous about it it's a four i'd rather have the bubbly um, it doesn't have a bad taste but the texture of it would make me want to gag <laughs> um next we have the hazelnut uh this one i'm, I'm curious about because when i opened it up I mean, look how, look how nutty that thing is. <laughs> uh, look how nutty that thing is. I'm, I'm super excited about it because weirdly enough, my favorite candy bar are the white chocolate Reese's that they do for special occasions. But if it's just a plain Jane day, I know these are hazelnuts, they're not the exact same. If it's a plain Jane day, my favorite candy bar is just a Mr. Good bar. It's just regular old Hershey chocolate and peanuts. I, I love them. Um, they, they just hit differently for me. And I can use the excuse, well, there's peanuts in it, so it's healthier. So we're going to go ahead and pop a piece in here real quick. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that a lot, actually. It's like... It's like the Mr. Good bar. I mean, the um, the the hazelnut itself complements the chocolate, and it gives you something different than just chewing on regular chocolate. And I like that a lot. I'm gonna put it right there with the regular one. 
I'm gonna give them both an eight because I like that one a lot. Well, cleanse the palette again here real quick. I picked the wrong time to do this too. I'm supposed to be doing a diet, which I am doing my diet, but they were sitting there for a couple weeks and they were just looking at me saying, dude, just, just try me. So that's what we're doing. Next one is the strawberry. Let's see if I can get that in the camera there for you. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm curious about this one because like I said, I'm not a big fan of the strawberries themselves, the real actual berry. It's a texture thing for me. It's not that the taste because I love artificially flavored strawberry things. Um, Especially like strawberry kiwi drinks. I love those. So, give a little look on the inside here and let's go ahead and get tried. That's good. That's good. That, that strawberry is just relevant enough, but it's not overpowering the chocolate. The chocolate's not overpowering it. It's almost like the white chocolate one, but the strawberry has definitely a a stronger flavor than the white chocolate did. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, I would give it a seven, purely because I don't like it as much as I do like the hazelnut one, but it's better than the one with the white chocolate mixed in it. So this seven is better than that seven. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Extra cocoa. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Zoth Zotherb? I I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to be disrespectful to the, the language. When I opened it up and I smelled it, it, it seems like dark chocolate to me, but I didn't know if it was dark chocolate or if it was like a, just a stronger milk chocolate, which would probably be dark chocolate. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and give her a try because well, that's what we do here. It just, it just smells like dark chocolate to me. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. If I had just read the back of it right there, milk and dark chocolate. <laughs> oh, well. It's all right. I'm not a dark chocolate guy, so it's, it's a good dark chocolate. I'll give it that. But for me, dark chocolate needs something else like peppermint patties. That's the best way to eat dark chocolate for me because it has something inside to, to help you know, counteract the dark chocolate itself. So it's a six. It's not horrible. It's not something I'd pick up. All right. The last one. Well, not the last one, but until the two that I'm super excited for. Uh, the last one we have until then is raspberry cream. Now this one, like I said, I'm very curious about. Um because I love raspberry. It's it's probably my third favorite actual fruit. And, you know, I'm just excited for it. I just, I just love raspberries. I just love raspberries. Oh, wow. It's like an actual filling in it. Oh, that's a good tasting filling. I figured it'd be kind of like the strawberries where there's a little chopped up stuff in there. And I'm sure, you know, if you're German, you're, you're aware of how this is, but I wasn't expecting an actual filling in there. It's almost like a, like a heated up Pop-Tart kind of thing or a toaster strudel. Oh yeah. That's really good. Wow. Wow. That's a nine. That so far has been my favorite one. Wow, that's really good. That might be the only one that I end up finishing, depending on how these last two, uh, you know, go for me. <laughs> so next up is the Chips Ahoy. I am super excited for that, but I have to go ahead and cleanse the palate a little bit here. Cause that was delicious, but man, that raspberry was like super, super rich. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was good. All right, Chips Ahoy. 
Okay, you can tell I haven't tried it yet. I'm, I'm curious if it's more like a, like the cookie dough you get in ice cream, if it's just basically it shoved inside this chocolate bar or, or you know, what it is exactly. So I'm, I'm pretty curious about this. I'm pretty pumped about it. Yeah, it kind of looks like that cookie dough stuff, just, you know, solid up for, for the, the, the actual chocolate itself. So let's give it a try. It's not bad. It's not bad. It, it's not, it's disappointing. I'll tell you that. It's disappointing for me. Um, I'd probably give it a seven. It, it's, it's as good. It's my favorite of the sevens. The white chocolate, the strawberry. No, I think I like the strawberry more actually. It's not bad. It's good. I, I mean, I would, I would have a problem if you bought it for me. Let's say I went to Germany and I ran into one of you guys or something. And you're like, Hey, you want this chocolate for me? <laughs> yeah. But it's not something I would just go buy on my own. I would much rather buy the raspberry one for sure. Next up is Milka and Tuck, T-U-C, McTuck. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm, I'm, I apologize. I found this one kind of unique because they're, they're like little cookies on top of the actual chocolate itself. It's almost like a little, like a chocolate bar sandwich. It's more raspberry on I me. Mean, I think went everywhere. <clears throat> oh, I'm excited for this one. Look at that thing. That is awesome. Oh, I don't know why. It's like a it's like a s'more without the marshmallow. I don't know why we don't do this kind of stuff here in the States, but I don't know. Don't matter. We're gonna try this one now. Not too bad. It, it It's a weird initial flavor because they're two totally different things. But that's not too bad. I don't like it as much as I do the raspberry, but it was better than Chips Ahoy. I'm going to give it an eight right there with the hazelnut and the regular plain Jane, you know, alpine chocolate. I keep looking at the screen instead of looking at the camera. I apologize. <laughs> um, but that's pretty good. Now, for me, the winner is the raspberry cream. Second would probably go to the hazelnut. The more I tried them, the more I thought about it. I just like it more than I do the regular plain Jane chocolate. And then third, wow, I don't know, man. The more I ate that, the better this thing got. Third's gonna go to this one. I know I just, you know, a minute ago was like, it's not bad. Third's gonna go to that one because it just gives me more than just the actual regular chocolate itself. So, those are my top three. Um, I'm very curious as to what other brands of chocolate, you know, um, from Germany are good. Cause this is, this is the brand that when I got up there, I, I Googled it quickly when I was in the store. And from what I understand, this is like the Hershey's of the German chocolate. So I could be completely wrong with that, but I was super excited just to see it when I found it on there and I just wanted to come down and try it. So hopefully this video is good. I, I, I hope the iPhone quality is good, obviously. If not, I do apologize because I obviously can't re-record it. I've already tried them. <laughs> so thank you all so much for, for being here with me. And um, if you guys like milk or chocolate, which one is your favorite one? What are the ones that I have here is your favorite one that you to, to eat? So like I said, the raspberry is the winner for me. The hazelnut is next. And then that, that last one, the TUC, is, uh, is the uh, third place one for me. And the only ones I, I can say that I didn't really care for too much would be the creamy one and the bubbly one. The rest of them I could eat. The dark chocolate's not too bad, but I'd have to have something else to go with it. But the, those are the only two and a half that I didn't really care for too awful much. So thank you all so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I can't wait to do more of these in the future. I have some other things planned, um, but right now all I can smell is my giant roast over there in the, in the crock pot just waiting on me. So probably should have done this after I ate the roast, but eh. 
who cares? Um, I'm a fatty. <laughs> so thank you all so much for being here. Leave a like if you haven't already. Consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out tremendously and it's free for you. Comment down below what your favorite chocolate is or, or what your favorite snack is in general. Like I said, mine are chips or what you guys would call crisps. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for being here and we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you all.